The plot takes place while an editor of the art magazine and a president of Moscow's literary society, Mihail Alexandrovich Berlioz, and a poet Ivan Nikolaevich Viponirov, known as the Bezdami, meet a strange man. The strange man introduces himself as an expert in black magic and starts telling them a story about the existence of Jesus' terrible headaches that Pontius Pilatus experiences, his hate towards Jerusalem, and his role in deciding the punishment for Joshua Hanosira, a man who raised a rebellion in order to demolish the temple. The beginning of Master's novel tells a story about the late events from Gospel, told from the Pilat's point of view. After his story ended, the writers occurred a series of weird events, culminating with Berlioz being killed by the streetcar and Bezdami lost his mind. He ended becoming a patient in a psychiatry clinic, diagnosed with schizophrenia as no one believed his story of recent events. After a while, Woland, the dark magic professor, appeared at the apartment of late Berlioz, accompanied by his black cat Azazel. He surprised Berlioz's roommate Lidage with sending him to Yalta, where the most of the people from Moscow were sent to disappear. During Wolin's performance of the Black Magic show, where he played with his audience and revealed hypocrisy, one visitor came to the room of Bezdami through the balcony door. They soon realized that they were both put under the lock from the same reason Pontius Pilatus, and they also realized that they both had met Wolin as well. The unknown man didn't introduce himself, telling only his nickname is the Master. He was wearing a hat with the letter M hand stitched by the love of his life. He is a former historian, used to work in a museum, but he left his job in order to write a book about Pontius Pilatus. His love supports him in his writing, and he will soon get his novel ready for publishing. Yet unexplainable events start taking place when, instead of the novel being published, the master becomes a victim of ideological critiques made by some reviewers. Unable for standing the pressure, he decides to burn the manuscript, also leaving his lover and ending as an asylum patient. After a while, Bezdami had a dream of the next episode of the Master's novel, where the execution of the sentence took place. In the meanwhile, Woland and his company were still rumbling around Moscow. In the second part of the novel, Master's love Margareta Nikolaevna appears. She is a 30-year-old wife married to one of the Moscow's respectable citizens. Because of her infinite remorse for leaving the Master and betraying him, she has a lot of common with the character of Levy, who betrayed Joshua as well. Margareta meets Azazel, who offers her to meet again with the master. In return, she would have to play the role of the queen at the Satan's Ball organized by Woland, so she soon signed the contract with the devil himself. After a series of weird events after the ball, Margarita got her wish of meeting with the master again. They met in the basement room, where master used to work on writing his novel. Master fell asleep soon, giving Margareta the opportunity for reading his notebooks. The story about Pontius ended with him trying to redeem for his sins by ordering a murder of Jude from Kirill and becoming close with Levi Matthias. During the time, the whole Moscow was under panic because of the Woland and his group who decided the destiny of the Master and Margarita. They organized a flight to the heaven for the two of them and eternal peace as well. The novel ends with Woland and his crew leaving Moscow and everything else returns back to normal.